But yeah, for sure this one was a little cut. All right, guys, welcome back to the Liberty Hour here, part seven. Here, streaming through Spreaker Studio and my A2 Jack YouTube channel and the 16 Jackson AJ1 Twitter account. Follow me on there to get some updates on my work. And I'm here with my good friend Ricky Navaretti, and we were talking about the Stephon Clark protests in response to the ruling from the DA Schubert last Saturday. And Ricky, you were about to say my take on everything, and I'll let you go ahead and go from there. Okay, no, yeah. so I'm just saying, like, my take on the whole case is, like, yeah, if you're pulling out a cell phone, or if if you're an official or a police officer, and you see some guy pulling out a cell phone, again, what was, like, the whole case? Like, was he coming out of his car and, like, going somewhere, or well, what exactly all happened? All I remember is that he was, he was, I guess, try, like, robbing, some, going into some vehicles, breaking into some vehicles, trying to steal some shit, was going to steal some shit from houses and stuff. And then he was trying to run, he was like running away from the cops and they got to like the back of this house and, and they told him to like put his hands up or whatever. And they had, he had something in his hands. They couldn't see it. And they said, show me your hands or whatever. And I guess but he didn't after the, that one time mm-hmm. and boom, boom, they shot him. It was two officers that shot him. And I don't know how many Jesus shots there man. were, but there was, I want to say there was at least 10. Um, but basically that, that's the general, that's generally what happened. I could get into specific details, but that's <laughs> basically what happened. That's the basic story. Okay. No, yeah, dude, I get you in that. Yeah. Like, dude, I don't know. In that scenario, when, what, who are the people who use stun guns? Is that like only like airport security or something? Like do police officers and stuff not use stun guns? Like I'm they, actually they, asking they, they you. Do. That I mean, that's the thing. They, they could have done that, but I think they were so scared because it was late at night. They didn't know he was in his hands. So you use a stun gun. It might not be enough. They could, you know, shoot the officer. I think, I don't know. But see, this is this is the thing is, I, again, I've heard some people in response saying, why don't cops just in these cases where they are afraid just wear bulletproof vests or something like that or, or you know, wear riot gear in some case like that. Uh, there needs to be a retraining in, in, in some of these cases because, look, mm. I don't want police officers to lose their lives, but at the same time, I don't want police officers to assume that every single time – a person doesn't show their hands when they first ask it that they have a gun in their hand. That's bullshit. That's fascist. That's bull. I guess you did. No, yeah, dude. I don't know. Just just to close off my thoughts is, yeah, I don't know. I just think it was a little too extreme just saying, okay, it's an accident. It won't happen. Or, like, just, I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like they handled it lightly, and that's what made the big issue. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. And that's the case where it happens a lot of times around America and it's right here in basically our backyard. So, anyways, I'll close off that issue with that. Uh, Ricky, you said that your girlfriend had a question for us to close out our part of the podcast. So, I'll let you go ahead and ask that, and we'll go ahead and answer. All right, yeah. As a matter of fact, the fabulous Aaliyah Jade, who has already finished her first album with, like, 12 songs on there. <clears throat> Very good. She's <laughs> no. she's actually an incredible singer. For real, check it out. Oh, for like a small little body, yeah, like she can, she's got some lungs. But anywho, as I was saying, she asked the question because she gave up uh, social media for Lent, and then I think you mentioned it earlier. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, this podcast is going around uh, just after Lent, so 40 days of fasting have begun and whatnot. I gave up YouTube and Hulu. I don't know how I'm going to get through these next couple of months or days, weeks. Anywho, she asked, uh, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Uh, what are three songs as a soundtrack for your life? Like, what are the three songs that would soundtrack your life, and why would they be those songs? <laughs> well, well, the first thing I want to say is thank you for bringing up Lent because we can didn't even talk about that, and um, and, and that's something else we can talk about after we finish this uh, question here. But my God, I haven't even thought about this. Well, um, I'm just <laughs> trying to I'm think saying. of songs that I like. I mean, if you want, like, I, I, I kind of cheated because I have seen the question for like the past couple of well, minutes. You so go I know. ahead, give, give me yeah, some Okay, all things. right, I will. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do. So for sure, the very first song that I associate with myself is gonna be "The Nights" by Avicii. Like, there's just something about that music video that, like, really inspired me, like, into being a better DJ or just really, like, being more confident as a DJ. Not a better DJ. I think when I say, like, being a better blah, 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 I think I really just mean being a more confident blah, blah, blah. Because, like, at the end of the day, that song was literally all just about living your life, saying, hey, you only got one shot, one opportunity, not to copyright Eminem or whatever. (laughs) He's like, take it, you know? Like, a lot of people will tell you things, but just take it. Like, 
who cares like what other people think who cares what's happening you live your life how you want to live it like don't be discouraged by these things you see that happens to them that's how their life played out they choose what happens after that like if somebody gets discouraged and like they don't do anything about it that's on them for not doing anything about it like something happens to you you can stand up for yourself live the life you want to live get out there throw yourself be willing to put in the work anyway so that's that's one song that really inspires me is the knights by avicii second one i associate with myself it's not as meaningful but for some reason like specter by alan walker and i mean the original specter not like the new modified one just the original specter has like a special meaning in my heart because it was like one of the first alan walker songs aside from fade that like i really 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 fell in love with and i don't know it's just every time specter came on like i just get this hype feeling and everybody associates it with me back in high school they're like oh it's rookie song blah blah like that's when i first heard about ncs2 and whatnot so you know Spectre just got a special place in my heart because that's when I really got in love with music and then Alan Walker was hitting me with those sweet jams. And then I'm still stuck on like trying to think of a third song I'd associate with myself. I'm being honest. <laughs> Do you know which songs you associate with yourself yet? Uh, I think I've got two. Uh, I'm just thought of off the top <laughs> I'm of my just head. Saying. So I'm one is Bring yeah, I'll, me, I'll let you go before you forget. <laughs> one is Bring Me to Life by Evanescence just because I've heard that song ever since I was like eight years old. And I've always thought of that almost just as a song that energizes me. I don't know why I've always just viewed that as a song that energizes me um, as a person. Um, Mm -hmm. Another song would, and I know it's more recent, so people might like roll their eyes to this, but it's just because of of the type of person I am and because of the mood that this song puts me in. And that's Happier by Marshmallow and Bastille. (laughs) And I, I, because I love the song and it puts me in a great mood. um, So I have to go with that. The third one and I was trying to think which song by the Chili Peppers, and I was debating between Road Trippin' and Venice Queen, but I think I think it would make more sense from the logical side to say Road Trippin' because it says, you know, Road Trippin' my two favorite allies, and it's something you can hear while you're going to the ocean, and I do like listening to music while I go to the ocean. Um, but honestly... I think I was just thinking about it over that though both of those songs I think I gotta go Don't Panic by Coldplay and the reason I say Don't Panic by Coldplay is because that is the definition of the ocean song I've heard my entire life and and I get stressed once in a while but that's a great song that will calm you down and get you back to life put you back in the moment and get you in peace that would that would be what i would say so if i had to give you my three songs it'd be bring me to life for energizing me happier for making me happy and defining my defining me who i am and try to be and then third would be don't panic to try to get me back to a state of peace there you go actually i didn't think i'm pretty good <laughs> 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 but yeah, well, good. I'll probably have to check out. Dude, just remind me, like, if you want, one of these days, send me the Ninzo song so I can check them out and listen to them. Because you know, I'm always looking out for new music and stuff that I've never heard, anyways. Well, but I, I know, I know that you gotta get going here. But um, you know, one thing I did forget to talk about. Oh, dude, you're good. I've been like getting caught into this conversation too. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I should probably get doing my homework. But then I'm like, no, nah, but like, I'm, I'm actually having fun right now. I'm I really actually, like, think this has been fashion. one of our be- my best podcasts. I honestly it, think so. This has been really, I'm glad I'm back. I feel, I feel the something. emotion, bro. I can feel it. <laughs> well, one thing I want to say before, you know, I get into this final thing and then I, I close out the show with one other topic is I do plan on having my friend Darren, Jake, and Kevin on sometime in the near future. And we're going to have a conspiracy theory podcast and that might go on for fuck ton of hours for all we know so make sure you tune into that because that one's gonna be definitely controversial but some people might actually be into that shit so make sure you tune into that um now getting back to uh lint so uh, I'm not so religious. about that third song <laughs> oh yeah oh your third song what the hell am i doing i'm cutting you off like a freaking buffoon go ahead ricky <laughs> no you're good so as i mentioned earlier so i'd say for sure the Knights of Avicii, I can like really associate like how I'm motivated by that. Spectre by Alan Walker, it's just like associated with me back in high school and it got me into EDM. This one, this third song, like I'm stuck between two. One, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, dude, for sure, like that's you, that's all you. And the other one, you're probably gonna be like, dude, I have not heard that in a while. But the thing is, like, it probably doesn't hit you as hard as home as it hits me. But the first one, like, I'm stuck with is uh, Alone by Marshmallow, 
Because I used to play that all the time, and I used to DJ to that all the time, and that's like when nobody really cared about Marshmallow, or nobody knew who Marshmallow was. They're just like, hey, put on that one EDM song. They didn't, nobody knew who Marshmallow was, bro. Like two years ago, everybody's like, hey, yeah, just put on that song. Or hey, yeah, just throw like, hey, why you look like a KKK member? All this stuff. I probably, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying that stuff, but that's what people would be telling me all the time. My headphones out. I'll talk. <laughs> like, that's what everybody would be saying back then. So I'm stuck between that, because that's got to switch place in my heart. But I completely forgot about this until I was scrolling, like, almost to the very beginning of my Spotify, like, from, like, years ago. I found Life by Tobu. Oh, Do you remember God. Tobu? That might be dude. four, dude. Shit, I forgot about that. That's what I'm saying, but, like, I totally forgot. Tobu was the reason. Hope he was too, the dude. reason There's I started too. making music. He was the reason I got into FL Studio. He was the reason... I, like, felt inspired and moved by music to make it. But, like, Marshmallow, like, everybody, like, I'm so associated with that guy. Like, I love the guy to death. But, see, like, I'm not trying to, like, think the between these two. crime in the EDM world is the fact that Tobu has not gone on a world tour yet. I know, dude. I swear to you, dude, Tobu was, like, one of the founding fathers of, like, the whole NCS movement. And then, like, people putting EDM music in their YouTube videos in the background while they're, like, showcasing whatever the heck and whatnot. Oh I don't know, dude. I'm stuck between those two, but for sure it's The Knights, Spectre, and it's either Alone by Marshmallow or Life by Tobu. I'm sorry. I got I got to pick top four. I'm sorry. Well, shit. I Aaliyah, can't. that was a good question. I got to give you credit. That was really good. So, uh, anyways, so getting into the next thing um, is talking about uh, Lent. So, I'm not a religious person. I know you are, and Ash Wednesday was two days ago, So, which means that you have to give up something for 40 days. I've decided I'm going to give up some for 40 days to get my health into a better mood. I weigh 215 pounds. That is not good. I need to lose at least 15 of that. And by doing that, I'm going to give up. And I hope I would like to give it up more than 40 days. because I'm sick of it. And that's fast food 40 days. That's my plan. Um, and I want to know, Ricky, uh, mm-hmm. you told you said that you're giving up YouTube and Hulu uh, what made you decide to give that up and how hard do you think that will be for you? Honestly, I was just going to give up uh, fast food again. And then I was like stuck in between gaming or YouTube. I was like, I can give up gaming. But then I really thought about it. I was like, dude, realistically, I only play PS4 like once or twice a week now. That's all I have time for. Because whenever I'm not doing homework, I try to like hang out and utilize as much time as I can to like be together with people because I barely have time. So, like, realistically, I barely even play. So, I was like, it's not really a big sacrifice. So, I was like, you know what? What's really going to help me this, like, for the next 40 days? What's going to what's gonna help me, you know, be, like, better in shape for Night Nation Run and be a better student and not procrastinate as much? So, I was like, I have to do it. I have to give up YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, and fast food. <laughs> uh, and that's literally what called me to do it. I was like, all right, I'm giving up fast food. So I can start getting in somewhat better shape for Night Nation Run so I don't pass out and faint on the floor. Yep. And I got to give up Hulu, YouTube, and Netflix so I can actually start going to sleep better and so I can start being productive during my breaks at school and start doing more and more homework so I have more time to like hang out and stuff when I get back home. That's what drew me to do all that. Yeah, if I got to be honest. If I try to give up YouTube, that would not be good because I watch – No, I don't think it's going to be easy, dude. I was literally like binge watching a show on uh, on YouTube – or not YouTube, Hulu – Hulu is the one where I was watching. I was binge watching the show on Hulu, like for the past week and a half before Lent, and I didn't even get to finish it. I'm just like, well, I guess I gotta cut it off, and it's it's not been easy, dude. <laughs> and like being so tempted to like just like grab my phone, watch YouTube, lay down, eat some snacks, and then I was like, wait, I can't eat snacks. I can't do that. I I, I gotta start doing homework. All right. <laughs> Dang. It's so easy to just get caught up and like forget these things. I sometimes do. I swear. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's my Lent right there. It's my next 35 plus days or whatever. Well, there you go. Well, Ricky, thank you very much for being on the Liberty Hour once again, man. This was great. Uh, had a wonderful conversation. Like I said, I think this is one of the best shows we've had. Um, this is, I think, the third or fourth time I've had you on. Th- once again, thank you for the equipment, for giving me the possibility to even do this in the first place. And uh, we'll have to do this again sometime once again because this was a great conversation. I just want to say thank you for having me or thank you for being on. <laughs> no bro thank you for having me on here but yeah this is probably like the third and a half or second and a half and 
half because of that one time with Michael, we couldn't get the, the audio <laughs> for sure. Well, Hey, thank you very yeah. much for being on man. And, uh, that's it for Ricky. I'll be right back with part eight for you guys. I'll be finishing up this uh, podcast and, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs>